Hello and welcome. This is Bhaskar Napte from Pharma Growth Hub and today we are going to talk about one of the very important topic as far as nitrosamines are concerned. You must have seen there are recent updates from FDA and EMA on predicting the acceptable intake limits for nitrosamines and NDSRI. Now these update or guidelines have used uh, CPCA or the carcinogenic potency categorization approach. Now how this approach can be used to define acceptable intake? First and foremost, you have to understand the three different scores for the given nitrosamine. The first one is alpha hydrogen score. The second one is uh, deactivating feature score. And the third one is the activating feature score. Now in that we talked about the necessity to calculate the alpha hydrogen score. So how the alpha hydrogen score can be calculated and how many configurations are considered by the EMA and FDA as per as calculation of alpha hydrogen score is concerned. And you will find there is a table given into the guideline and there are this many configurations given for the alpha hydrogen score. Total number of six configurations are provided into the guideline. Now how to define the alpha hydrogen score? The first is, I mean, how to define this configuration? For example, 0, 2. So how this 0, 2 can be arrived at? And for that, you need to understand what is mean by alpha hydrogen. So look at this structure of uh, nitrosamine. So now this is the carbon which is connected to the nitrogen of nitroso group. So this carbon becomes your alpha carbon and the next carbon becomes the beta carbon. But for today, we are going to only talk about this alpha carbon or the hydrogen or number of hydrogen present onto the alpha carbon is going to define the configuration. So what is zero stands for? This zero stands for there is no hydrogen atom present on alpha carbon. Now, how many alpha carbons are present in nitrosamines? This is one alpha carbon and this is the second alpha carbon. So, you have to start with the counting the number of hydrogen present onto the alpha carbon with the minimum hydrogen numbers. Means count the hydrogen atoms on both the alpha carbon, isn't it? And then you need to understand on which alpha there is minimal hydrogen. So, that comes first and followed by the next. So if you look at this particular structure, you understand that on uh, this alpha carbon, which is connected to the aromatic ring, how many hydrogens are present on it? No hydrogen present on it. So zero comes from that. And this is the second alpha high carbon. So how many hydrogens present onto the second alpha carbon? This is one hydrogen and this is second hydrogen. So two. So I hope you understand this. Uh, defining the configuration 0, 2, 0, 3 and so on. So our topic is today about this configuration part. So all together EMA and FDA has given the six configuration for the alpha hydrogen. But in reality how many alpha hydrogen configurations are possible? If you know the structure of nitrosamine right there are two carbon connected to the nitrogen. So how many are the possible alpha configurations? And there will be total 10 numbers of configuration possible. 0, 0 means what? Absence of alpha hydrogen on both the alpha carbon. 0, 0, 1 stands for there is no present on hydrogen on one alpha carbon and on second alpha carbon there is a one hydrogen. So according to this you will be able to understand this 10 different configurations possibility for a nitrosamine having a structure like this. But how many configuration score is provided by FDA and EMA? We just talked about that and we said that for only 6 and for others like 00, 0 01, 11, 33, alpha hydrogen score is not provided by this guideline. So is there any reason why the alpha hydrogen score for a configuration like 0, 0,0, 0, 0,1, 11, 33 is not provided? Yes. Obviously, there is going to be a reason and we are going to talk about that particular reason only. Let us now understand the possible configuration with the absence of hydrogen on one alpha carbon. Means there is no presence of hydrogen 
on one alpha carbon so second alpha carbon can have the or may not have the hydrogen so this is the first possible configuration zero means presence of hydrogen on one alpha carbon and again there is no presence of hydrogen on second alpha carbon also so zero comma zero now what is the status so ima fda has not provided this uh, alpha hydrogen score for this particular configuration now look at this structure you understand that you know this zero comma zero configuration stands for what now there are no alpha hydrogen on this carbon and this carbon also now there are a flow chart there is flow chart provided into the same guidance document and this flow chart will help you to understand whether your product falls under category 5 or in case if it doesn't fall under category 5 then how you are going to define the score you need to calculate the potential score now these are two important initial questions we don't want to understand the another further questions we need to only understand these two initial questions to realize why this 0 comma 0 alpha hydrogen score is not provided into the guidance document now this is the very first question does your ndsri have any hydrogens on its alpha carbon what is the question right so there is no hydrogens present onto the alpha carbon so the potency category 5 that means straight forward your ndsri can be qualified for the category number 5 and this is the point does compound qualify for for potency category 5 and the response is yes so 00 qualify for the potency categorization 5 and hence there is no need of further potency score calculation see according to this particular flow chart if you are NDSRI or nitrosamine qualify for the potency category 5 then you can stop further calculation of the potency score so now as there is no need of further calculation of the potency score so what is point in talking about the alpha hydrogen score for 0 comma 0 it is completely meaningless right and for that reason neither fda nor ema has provided the alpha hydrogen score value for 0 comma 0 configuration the second possible configuration is now 0 comma 1 again this particular configuration is not available into the fda and ema now understand whether this particular ndsri qualifies for potency category 5 and if it qualifies for the potency category 5 then we do not require the alpha hydrogen score let us understand that now what is the first question does ndsri have any hydrogens on its alpha carbon now there is a hydrogen on alpha carbon so we don't qualify for this first answer so we have the alpha hydrogen so response is yes now what is the second question does ndsri have more than one hydrogen on one or both the sides of the n nitroso group now in this case we only have the one hydrogen but not more than one hydrogen so our answer is no and then again in the second step now our compound gets qualified for the potency category 5 and if the compound falls under the potency category 5 further calculation of potency score is not required and hence the hydrogen score or alpha hydrogen score for 0 1 configuration is really not a requirement okay and hence it is not provided by the FTA and EMA let us now talk about the third possible configuration and which is 0 comma 2 so if you look into the guidance document published by FDA and EMA the alpha hydrogen score for this configuration is provided okay let us now understand does this compound qualify for the potency category 5 the first question does ndsri have any hydrogen on its alpha carbon answer is yes there are two hydrogen so this is not qualified then if yes then does ndsri have more than one alpha hydrogen on one or both the sides of the n nitroso group the answer is yes so this compound doesn't qualify for the potency category 5 
and as this compound doesn't qualify for the potency category 5 i think we need to understand the alpha hydrogen score so the further potency score calculation is required and hence there is a need of alpha hydrogen score and hence the guidance has also provided the alpha hydrogen score which is available the fourth possible configuration is 0 and 3 so again there is no alpha hydrogen on this carbon and there are three hydrogens on the another alpha carbon. So what is the possibility of this compound falling under potency category 5? This compound doesn't qualify for the potency category 5 and hence further potency score calculation is required. Therefore, there is a need of alpha hydrogen score and hence for this configuration also, the guidance has provided the alpha hydrogen score. Now, possible configuration with one hydrogen on one alpha carbon. So, this is the first possible configuration. Now, there is one hydrogen on one alpha carbon. The first possible is 1, 1. So, there is also presence of one hydrogen on second alpha carbon. So, does this compound fall under potency category 5? It does fall with the help of this particular second question. And as this compound falls under a potency category 5, there is no further need of calculating the potency score and hence alpha hydrogen score is not required. Therefore, FDA and EMA guidance has also not provided the alpha hydrogen score which is not available. The second possible configuration is 1, 2. Here it is. Does this compound fall under uh, potency category 5? Answer is no. And as this compound doesn't fall under potency category 5, the calculation of alpha hydrogen score is required. And therefore, the alpha hydrogen score needs to be available. And yes, it is available in the FDA and EMA guideline. The third possible configuration is 1, 3. And this uh, alpha hydrogen score is available into the EMA FDA. Why? Because this compound doesn't fall under potency category 5 and hence, Further potency score calculation is required. So there is a need of a alpha hydrogen score. Now the third po possible configuration is the presence of two hydrogen on one alpha carbon. Isn't it? Now there are two hydrogens on one alpha carbon. So what is the possible configuration? Now two and one. 2 and 1 is not possible because we, we understand that how this uh, alpha hydrogen uh, score is calculated. The lower first followed by the higher. So 2, 1 is not possible. 3, 1 is not possible. It is always going to be the second alpha must have the higher number or at least equal number of hydrogen. So 2, comma 2 is possible. So does this compound qualify for potency category 5? Absolutely no. And hence there is a need of potency as so there is need of potency score calculation and to calculate the potency score we need to have the alpha hydrogen score which is by the way provided into the guideline for 2 comma 2 configuration 2 comma 3 now this uh, alpha hydrogen score is available into the guideline why because this compound again doesn't fall under potency category 5 and you need to calculate the potency score for that reason you need to have the alpha hydrogen score for 2 comma 3 configuration the possible configuration with three hydrogen on one alpha carbon now this is the possible configuration 3 comma 3 now 3 comma 2 is not possible and 3 comma 4 is also not possible. So 3 comma 3 is the only possible configuration. And uh, does this compound qualify for the potency category 5? Absolutely no. But does this uh, score given into the guidelines? It is also not given into the guideline. Now there is a question. If the compound doesn't qualify for the potency category 5, then there is a need of alpha hydrogen score calculation. But look at this point now. The guidance has not provided the alpha hydrogen score for this configuration. Why? Look at the structure of the compound. Now it is possibly a small nitrosamines. There is no possible chain at any site. So this is going to be NDMA and not NDSRI. 
So this compound is going to be small nitrosamines and not NDSRIs. And for that reason, this those uh, I mean EMA and FDA has not provided any alpha hydrogen score for this particular configuration. Thank you so much.